What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm George from Baggers and Brews, and today we're gonna to talk about lighting, specifically the Ciro filler panel lights. If you've been watching the channel and you saw our videos down at the Ocean City Rally, you saw that I had Ciro install some front end lighting on the 21 Row Glide Limited. So I got the stuff done on the front end. It's very important to be seen going down the road, but it's also important to be seen when you're stopped or coming to a stop. And that's where these Ciro panel lights come in. They serve two purposes. One, they add brake lights and turn signals to the back of your bike. And also they fill a panel that Harley left that is probably the most ungodly sight on the back of an Ultra. So Ciro offers these in a variety of lighting colors. I chose the red brake with the amber turn signal. I'm just one of those people who believes that an amber turn signal is more easily seen. And in this video, you'll see us installing product 40003. So you can search for that on our website. The website's very organized. So they are offered in chrome. They're offered in black. They are also available from the 14 to the current and from 09 to 13. The difference is if you have an 09 to 13 bike and you're ordering them, it's going to come with a rickrack bracket for the installation. So with that being said, let's get into this install. All right, here's the product. Nice pint of our homebrew chocolate peanut butter porter. And here we're just going to take it out of the box. All the accessories and the hardware is packaged at the top of the box and Ciro's full color instructions. So as always with Ciro, everything is packaged really well. You can see uh, the one that you can see that the box is, box is shrink wrapped and the uh, one that's hit inside the box here is wrapped in bubble wrap. Nice shiny new lights, gotta love them. Honestly, the unboxing is probably the most difficult part of this install. This install was super easy. Took us, you know, right about an hour. And these are right and left side specific. And there's a little R and an L that is molded into the back of them so that you can uh, see what one goes on each side, but you really can't put them on the wrong side the way they're designed. This is just the hardware bag here. You can see you have some washers and some bolts, some lock nuts in there, dielectric grease, the run brake turn module splitter, and some zip ties. And we're gonna get these saddle bags off, just like that. We're going to get the seat removed. And then we're going to feed the wire through the, uh, the hole there in the bracket first, and then the light is going to fit in nice and snug. They have a, a little bit of foam there that helps actually hold it in place. All right, I'll put this wire up to the side for a minute. And now we're going to just put a washer on this bolt, feed the bolt through the existing hole that's there. And then on the back, we're gonna put another washer and a nut as well. Now you'll see in the kit, you're provided with uh, a bunch of extra washers and that is just to if you needed to shim up the product to get it you know center or how you may you know want it to fit in there um, depending maybe on what kind of bag or you know fender you might have but 
I didn't need any of those, I just needed a washer on either end and everything fit nice and snug. So the directions are specific about not over tightening. I use this little Ryobi impact driver for everything. It really doesn't have a lot of torque to it. Um, and it was not an issue for me. And then you can see uh, I even had to come back and, and snug them up by hand. But do keep in mind it is uh, you know, the, the bracket is plastic, so you really don't want to crank it down too hard. And then we're, we're just going to do the same thing on the other side of the bike. Here we're just fishing the wires uh, along the fender strut up into the battery compartment. I took the side cover here off. Not necessary, it just made life a little bit easier for me and let a little bit more light get in there. Um, and there you can see where I ran the wires up between the fender strut and the fender. There's plenty of room in there for this wire and this wire is it's nice and coated and it's flat so it was pretty easy to work with. And then we're just gonna put some dielectric grease on either one of these connections. Uh, you really don't need a lot of this stuff. They give you much more than you need in the package. Just a little dab will do you. And here, making the connections. Uh, the connections are side specific. The brown wire should go to the light on the right and the strand with the violet wire should go to the connection on the left. And here you just want to take that run brake turn module and you're going to Y adapt it into the existing wire harness. This is something Sierra does that makes life so much easier. Um, these lights really are plug and play. Now that everything's connected, I'm just going to get the zip ties through the, uh, the wire harness holders here. I didn't have any clips on my bike. I know some bikes do, um, but the holes are still in the, uh, the strut there. So I didn't tighten them down too much at first. I put them on, pulled my slack through, and then once I had everything kind of tucked where I wanted it there, I cinched them down. And there you can see the final uh, piece there where I just zip tied the extra wire together. And now it's just putting the bike back together, putting the side cover back on, getting the bags back on. All easy stuff. Finally the seat, that Harley hammock. There you can see the finished product. Looks really good, nice tight fit. See the lights are bright. It basically doubles the lighting you have in the back of the bike. All right, you see the turn signals there. The amber really stands out. There we are with the lights off. So again, nice and bright. And there's the turn signal again with that amber tube that Sierra has developed. Really bright, there's no break in that light. So that's it, super easy install. Like I said, it took us about an hour to do. Um, check out Sierra3D.com for this product. It is linked below in the description. And don't be afraid to put some lights on the bike. These lights are all plug and play really easy install 
Um, all the serial lighting that we put on our bikes is plug and play. There's never been a lick of wire splicing or anything complicated you know, we've had to go through to do an install. So that's it. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, ring the bell if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one.